Hello, Mr. School Kids. Teacher Michael here. Happy summer! Man, it is getting hot, huh? Well, I hope you guys are staying cool. And as always, let's start our lesson in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, you are just and righteous, and we confess our sin and disobedience to you. Uh, God, we're thankful for the forgiveness that is found in Christ, and we ask that as we learn more about you in today's lesson, we would respond in love and obedience. In Jesus' name, amen. Question for you guys. What is something that you hate? Like I'm talking about something that you cannot stand. Do you guys hate mosquito bites? Or do you hate waking up too early? <sighs> or do you hate waiting in really, really, really long lines? Well, do you guys know that God actually hates something too? Yes, even the God of love and kindness actually cannot stand this one thing. Do you guys know what it is? It is sin. Yes, God is righteous and just, and he cannot stand and tolerate sin. And so in today's lesson, we'll learn how Judah continue to disobey and how God would punish them because of their sin. So today we are reading and going through 2 Kings of the Old Testament in the Bible. See here? And our lesson is about Judah and their king, King Manasseh. Now King Manasseh was a very, very, very evil man. He practiced witchcraft, he worshipped false idols. He did not trust God. Through witchcraft, he even sacrificed his own son. That's how evil he was. And the people of Judah followed in his disobedience. They did not worship God, and they worshipped false idols instead. And now, even though God is very gracious and merciful so many times, enough was enough, and God decided to punish Judah's sins. God used the Babylonians to come and invade their land and enslaved the people of Judah. The city of Jerusalem was ransacked and was completely destroyed. The people there had no food and they were just starving every single day. And the temple where God used to meet with his people was stripped down and burned down. And all the people of Judah were taken as slaves and captives, and they were taken away from their land. It was a very, very dark and scary time for Judah. I know even for me, it can be difficult to really understand and grasp what's happening in stories like these in the Bible. Sometimes it's hard for me to really see how much Judah suffered when God punished their sins. And so I want us to imagine if this happened to us today. Now remember, people like me and you and your parents and all the people on the earth are sinners and we all are guilty of disobeying God. And so imagine if God decided to punish our sins by sending a large, powerful army to come and destroy the Bay Area. What if these people came and they took down the Golden Gate Bridge. And then they came to each of our houses and took away our money and our possessions and all our food. So we were starving every single day. And imagine if they came and then they broke all of our houses down and then took us away and we were captives in a foreign land away from the Bay Area. That would be so scary, huh? And so guys, this is a really grave reminder of sin and we have to remember from this lesson that all of us me you your teachers all your friends all of our parents all our grandparents we are all sinners and god still hates sin even today and so we need to take sin very seriously because god hates sin so is that the end of the story not quite Judah was captured and had no hope, and yet God still had a plan. After King Manasseh died, many kings would follow in place of him, 
until a king would come named King Jehoiakim of Judah. And King Jehoiakim was not a good king. He didn't even trust in the Lord. And yet, God was still gracious and merciful. He allowed the king of Babylon to recognize the king Jehoiakim and released him from prison. He bestowed upon him honor even when he didn't deserve it. And do you guys know who would come from the line of Jehoiakim? It's no other than Jesus. Wow! And so you, do you guys see what ha what's happening here? God had a plan, even despite God punishing Judah for their sins. God would allow King Jehoiakim to live and a lineage to survive captivity so that eventually Jesus Christ would come. And of course, we know that Jesus Christ would live a perfect and truly righteous life. And he would die on the cross and sacrifice himself for our sins. And we were supposed to be punished, yet God placed his anger and his judgment and his punishment on Christ on that cross. And three days later, Christ would raise from the dead and he would go to heaven. You guys know what that sound means. It's discussion time. And so I want you guys to turn to your parents and share about a time in which you sinned. Have you ever lied before? Were you ever selfish and didn't share your food or toys with someone? Did you ever disobey and not listen to your parents? And since all of us are sinners, you can have your mommies and daddies share about a time when they sinned as well. And so parents, go ahead and pause the lesson now. So as we end our lesson today, let's remember that God hates sin, even now, and that every time you and I disobey, it is a very serious thing, and sin has to be punished. And so if we remain in our sin, we will go to hell. We will not get to be in heaven with God. But remember that through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, there is forgiveness to be found. Let's remember that if we truly repent of our sins and trust and obey Him, we can be forgiven of all of our sins. And so let's remember the gospel, that there is so much hope and joy found in Jesus. And in response, let's live lives that honor Him. And that's it for our lesson today, kids. See you next time!